video, law enforcement agreed to only ask Danny Heinrich about Jacob and Jared. They agreed not to ask Heinrich about any other crimes. So how did law enforcement get to this point? To this point of accepting a plea deal with Heinrich. A deal that meant they couldn't ask about any other crimes. A deal that meant that Heinrich would never be charged with the abduction and murder of Jacob Waterloo and would get out of prison in 17 to 20 years. The prosecutor who agreed to the deal, U.S. Attorney Andy Luger, told me they agreed to it because they just didn't have a better option. We had belief, but not evidence, before he told us. My job, under all of these awful circumstances, with no really great choices, was to do two things. Put him behind bars for a long time and get the answers that his family in the state of Minnesota have been looking for for almost 27 years. So it's the best deal that could have been made? In my, in my view, it's the best deal that was available. And to hear law enforcement talk about it, in interviews with reporters, in the days and weeks after, the reason they didn't have any options wasn't because of anything the investigators did or didn't do. It was because Danny Heinrich was just uncatchable. He was that rarest of rare criminals, the kind of murderer who hides the body in a place so remote and so random that no one would ever find it. 